Nah, fuck it. Uh, three, two, one, kick it. <sighs> yeah, I gotta do that every time. Even live. Even live. Well, camera, not live. Even video. Even on face. Even on face. <laughs> even. Even face. <laughs> even live. Fuck it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the Shake and Bake Podcast. We got, you know, me, Eric, your humble lord and savior. Katie. And I thought I had a god complex. Yeah, I was like, hold on. Hold the, up, there, the joke bitch. was I said humble and then lord. Yeah. Eric, the, top, uh, the contradictory one. Yes. Yeah. And we got Nick, the designated driver. Woo. In more ways than one. Katie, the future designated driver. <laughs> and Trevor, the, the future alcoholic. I'm not even going to argue that. I mean, future, <laughs> current... No. no, we already have a current. He's just, you know... He, he can't defend himself right uh, now. Oh, Kyle. Oh, I was thinking Alex. No, <laughs> Kyle, who's like a full dad, though. I don't Can you call someone an alcoholic they get drunk off, like, one beer? Yeah. Alright, I'm okay. not touching any of this. Anyway. Um, <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, we're not doing anything really special today. It's just we're driving down to Zankai right now. Mm-hmm. Actually, the, the uh, upon recording this, it's 2.40, the, the next video, today's podcast, I'm sorry, last week's podcast, oh. go, goes up in about 10 minutes for us, so, if you're listening to that, then you it should be, then you know what we're going to do, we're just going to sit here, we're going to do two rounds of that weird word association thing, where we get a word and just talk, um, uh, Two rounds minimum. I don't really know how far we're going. Okay. And then, you know, we're just going to do what we do. And just kind of take it from there. Now we'll yeah. see what happens. We can talk to Katie about what she wants to what uh, she okay. wants to do first at Zenkai. Don't spell like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's your first it's con period. It's my first con yes. ever. I've ever. never been to a convention. Okay. Um, is this my first time? Okay. Besides the beach, this is the first time going away with, with friends outside of it. Hmm. Or outside of, like, but with the beach. my mom. Why, why does the beach count? No, I'm uh, saying the beach was the okay. first time. Yeah. Okay. Like, so, it's like I'm the second. Leaving, yeah. Um, leaving the home, leaving the hometown. I'm going to a place town. unfamiliar without anyone that I, like, am related to. Is my point. Yes. This will be my third time? No, fourth. Fourth? Damn. Fourth. You're old. First. Second. Puke. You guys. Don't call it puke. This, no, yeah. First, puke. You guys. This one. This one. This, this will be. This will be my fourth design icon. Huh. Uh. Be our second. Be, uh. Yes. This is second, and this will be Katie's first convention. Okay. Yeah. Was yeah. it my? Wait, okay. What was everyone's first con? Billy Comic Con. Billy Comic Con. Eric. Design Con. Uh, yeah. too many games. Uh, was it? What was it? 2016, 2015? The year uh, 2015. Nate lost the battle was there. Okay. I think it's 2015. Yeah, it would have been 2015 because last year was 2016. Yeah. Oh my but god, this. Too this... many games I went to this last year? Yes, yeah. too many games last year. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy's going 10 underneath the fucking speed. You're also going to see me road rage probably quite a bit. Yes. Go I'm, rage, I'm, rage, I'm rage, an angry rage. driver. You... Okay, hold on. I don't think that's necessarily true. If you want to get full road rage, you need to put on the. This... You need to put on the song Brothers in Arms by Junkie XL. I, I don't even know what that is. Neither do I. Yep. <sighs> Katie, but, don't take that guess. I don't really want to comment on any of their music. Usually have a... Katie, you want to take a guess. No, I because don't. Because Raul Coley got pulled over during this song. God damn it. It's My favorite the... Twitter. It's off of the Mad Max soundtrack. Oh my god. <laughs> Where they're getting chased through the mountains, I believe. You. Raul well, Coley is I, perfect. Eric, you have to follow him. He's who I want to be. So, you guys I aspire about to be him. Way too much. I'm be Greg Miller. Like Gregarious Greg. See. Greg Gayrian. If at any point in time. Still me and Eric had the same, like, no, no, romance no, as Raul Coley and Robert Buckley. My life will be complete. Have you seen their bromance? It is no. real. Nick, you want to have a bromance like uh, oh, 
Uh, uh, the two characters on Scrubs. The two characters on Scrubs. I don't know their names. Turk and JD? Yeah, JD. Katie, I already have that. No. Steve. I'm replacing Steve now. Actually, no. no, Steve's the gay lover. It's fine. Who, who at the top in this romance? I'm not touching it's never this. never Nick. <laughs> no. I'm not touching the situation. <laughs> I don't really want... It's a non-gay bromance, Eric. That's... Well... Who can't even top or bottom? I can't even really say... We're not talking about this. Travis, are you going to top or bottom? I don't know. Nick, you're top or bottom? I have no way of knowing. Eric, you're top or bottom? Are you going to answer this? Eric, you're not answering. Go ahead. <laughs> is this the beginning of Eric cracking? Eric, I is think this it the is. other night? Oh my god. <laughs> you, like, broke at your house. We were watching fucking, um, we were watching Friends, and you just broke, like, in the kitchen. Oh, we were making a pizza. Do you not remember this? Friends? We were watching something, like, Friends, or, like, Seinfeld, or some, like, and we were watching What did I do? I don't remember, you just, like, broke, you, you were laughing on the floor for, like, 15 minutes. No, okay, one, you're, exact, you're way exaggerating. Alright, that's not true. It wasn't even a minute. Wasn't even a minute. Uh, There's some nice cars coming up here. <laughs> like right there. Anyway, our Aaron. Oh, those are nice. Except they're not Tesla. Let's go for a test drive. Yeah, Travis, they're not Tesla. Let's go for a test drive right now. They're close up. But yeah, so Katie, you got the. Yep. Already up. Cool. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Travis goes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll go first. Uh, Charles, real quick. Ch- uh, how much farther until I turn? 3.5, 3.3 miles. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, wait, uh, left or right? Sorry, no. Right? Okay. Yeah, slight right turn. Slight right turn. Okay, yeah, I'll be yeah. fine. Hey, slight, yeah, slight right, so I'm just gonna just keep following the road. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay, let's go. Just wanna make sure. Alright. Tell me when to stop. Or he's refreshing words. Tell him whenever stop. to stop. Nick. Your word is glistening. Are we putting a time limit on these? Glistening. No, go as time long as you can go. Go as long as you can go. All right. Let's actually know that. Let's try for two minutes, but. Try for two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Should I... I? Yeah, I'll pull up. I'll pull up, man. This episode is not sponsored by Dasani. Yeah. No. Yeah. Whatever. We're not sponsored by. Anything. Yeah. I, like, I gotta pull this ring back here. Fuck you. My jerky. Still not sponsored. Hashtag not ad. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag no spawn. Electrolytes. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Flat's great. Alright, cool. All right. Three, two, remember, the word is glistening. Glisten. Oh, great. Glisten. Glisten. G L. Like water glistening. Three, okay. two, one, kick it. So you see, there's not too many things that I could call glistening. Is it? Maybe ponds, maybe lakes. Oceans during the right time of day they kind of glisten, but what other than that? What really glistens? Like apples don't glisten, bananas don't glisten, cars shine, they gleam, they don't glisten. I mean, really, honestly, what it really is the difference between a shine and a gleam or a glisten. I mean, it's, it's multiple specks of light, or it's one speck. Like who really knows? But yeah, other than water, there's not really too many things that gl- that would really glisten. I guess. I guess like yeah, this is gonna sound kind of weird. Like models before an o- before a photo shoot, whether sports or everything, like, cause you know they throw like oil and shit all over them to make them sparkle and like and look glistening and perfect. Sparkle. Yes, Katie, make them sparkle or glisten, as is the word. Is sparkle and glisten synonyms? Or who knows? Who cares? But yeah, I got it. yeah. You made it to one minute. Okay, I'll take it. For, I, Wait, for, one minute for, even? One minute. Nine. Holy Point shit! Eight, yes. What? One minute even, pretty much. Yes. Cool. Okay, yeah, I'll, t- I'll, I'll take All that right. for first round on a, no, a glistening. I don't know. Eric, what's my word? Alright, tell me. I'll, I'll tell. I'll. I'll... Yep. Tell me one. <laughs> Stop. Your word is cause. Cause? Cause. As in effect, cause and effect. Alright. Alright. Three, two, one, kick it. 
All right, bitches, I'm going to tell you a story about this time I caused the end of the world, right? So it was just a normal day, right? Me and Eric, we were just hanging out. Bar was there as well. Han was there. It was a great day. We were all just kind of hanging out, doing our normal thing. As we were just going on, chilling. And then Bar decided, let's go for a drive. Because, you know, that's what we normally do. We'll normally go for a drive, we'll just chill out, hang, you know, waste some gas, fuck the... You know, don't care about the environment at all. But it turns out, because of this drive, because of this amount of gas we wasted, we caused a chain reaction that ended the world. Do you want to know how? Because of this, we killed a butterfly that was supposed to pollinate a flower. Because that flower wasn't pollinated, the president's wife didn't get that flower because it died. The flower died, and the president's wife was pretty pissed off, which made him pissed off. Which made him push the nuke button. Which made him nuke <laughs> the Russians. And the Russians said nuke us. We were then in a Fallout 4 scenario where, holy shit, we're now all raiders. Oh, God. Bar. He didn't make it. He didn't make it too long. No, not Bar. He tried, but the, the radiation got to him. Hod didn't last much longer. The cancer killed him. God. I miss him. I miss him so much. I miss my best friends, but now we're sitting here, the end of the world as we know it, just got this one bullet, just, 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 just gonna do it, just gonna end it, end. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> the fuck, Travers, <laughs> why did it make it? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wait, what about Eric? Exactly, we don't know. You <laughs> don't know. He just kind of wandered off one day. Mm -hmm. I guess I made it. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, one minute, 41 seconds. Alright. 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 Okay. Are we doing you next or are we doing me? You. Okay. Uh, this is her goal. Yeah. Okay. Alright, tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. <sighs> Your word is ceaseless. That was not good for me because the list situation. <laughs> ceaseless. There it is. Not too long to flip it. Ceaseless. As in without cease. Ceaseless discharge? The ceaseless discharge. discharge. Which I saw a shirt on Red Bubble that was like the most. Me it looked like a metal album cover of ceaseless discharge. Nice. So cool. Ceaseless. Alright. Three. I don't like those words. Two. Yeah. One. Kick it. So, you guys know how, like, every time it rains, the rain's always gonna be ceaseless, like it's never gonna stop. And like it just keeps going and going and going. Like I remember there was this one summer that like it seemed like the rain was ceaseless. Like it, it just kept raining every single day over and over and over again. And it got to the point where I was just like, screw it, I'm gonna go outside. So my mom and dad both worked, so I was kind of home alone. So I went outside and I was playing in the rain and I got sick. Like bronchitis, hospital, sick, sick. I was in the hospital and that was really fun. Because then my hospital doesn't seem like it's ceaseless because I would go, I would be allowed to be discharged and then I would go home and not be taking my medication because they really didn't like taking medicine as a kid. So then I would get more and more sick. And so I'd keep going back to the hospital and going back, back and forth. Was, this back and forth was ceaseless, I promise. Like for a good four months, I want to say, was just back and forth, back and forth between my house and the hospital because I kept getting sick. Their right to merge onto US so, one day, I just told my, I, I was on a, I had been admitted back in the hospital. I was like, Mom, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna stay in the hospital until I'm completely well. Because if I go back home when I'm not 100 percent better, I'm just it's just gonna keep happening. It's it's gonna never end. Some would say it would be ceaseless. So I, I ended up having a I want to say month and a half long hospital visit during the final stretch of that because I just got I just was a very sickly child because I had asthma. And a bunch of other that kind of stuff. So, yeah, ceaseless. Mm. What time? One thirty-six. Is okay. it bad? I saw. I thought she was gonna be like the rain was ceaseless, so I built an ark. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been perfect. No. That's where I saw that going. But no. So uh, it seems a lot like your fault. It said merge, right? Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about it then, because his leg is also screwed up, but. He would always stop taking the pills and his leg felt better. Yeah. So then it would but get worse. If it was because he was taking the stop? pills. Uh, 
Nick, you look like you have a question. No? Alright. Three, mm. two, one, stop. Your word, Eric, oh, yeah. is. Stop, stop, stop. Your word is utopians. Utopian? Ready? Alright. Set. Go. It's been years since we've seen a speck of dust. Oh my god. The slightest, even dreary cloud or dreary day. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. To US we live west in a world, Russia. a new beautiful world, an Eden-like existence. This utopia where Bar lives, <laughs> <laughs> a long, happy life. Yes, sir. Far is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is our King. He is Adam to the world as Eve. In this utopia, Ew. there is no pain, no hatred, no In fear. Miles, take but to love, sharing, giving. And yes, I know. No utopia is a real utopia. It's always something wrong, but we've all seen The Giver. <laughs> Bar saw it too. He saw where they fucked up. And he fixed it. We build and we build and we do it not for ourselves, not for glory, not for fame, but to help each other. No, no longer are we hunting for sport. We are all vegan, no. and we all have soy, <sighs> magical, glorious soy, soy, glorious soy, bountiful soy, wonderful soy, oh. glorious <laughs> soy. <laughs> then, then anytime Exit there's an ask for more, there is no problem at all. Right here. Right right but there yep. is always more soy. <laughs> soy and <a> soy. Soy <laughs> que soy. <laughs> there is one. Doesn't that mean a different thing? Yes, yeah, something entirely different. I will say it after. Uh, soy. We are truly one. And soylent green is people. Soy. Long live the king is dead. Long live the king. Forever rain soy! Go. Uh, 227. Cool. So, soy means <laughs> I am. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <what I'm laughs> so, 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 I'm like Shara's got offended that bar with a cake. No, I'm just like, so much soy. <laughs> <laughs> Miss my burger. Yes, what my was burger. the utopia? Uh, utopia. No, no, um, food, glory. What was that? So, food, glory, food, 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 wonderful food. What is that? Uh, what was that from? It was Oliver Twist, right? Eh? Yes, yeah. Dollar to okay. More? You want more? <laughs> so what's the next word? Yeah, um, and so... Continue on to Potsdam Valley. Soy, get away, means I am okay, what I am. Yeah, yeah, just keep going. Okay. I believe soy, and soy, would be how the Bible writes, I am that I am, and then the burning bush speaking yeah. out of name. Mm -hmm. Also, Lucifer, in... Dean talks to the burning bush. At least a burning bush. Spoilers. Alright, next time we'll stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> you give me a bit of get a bit of a fear there. Mm -hmm. Three. Why is okay, your word is accessible. <laughs> accessible? Yes. God damn, I ain't getting anything good. Three, two, one, kick it. Okay, so what does it really mean to be something to be accessible? It's like, it could be there, but you don't always have access to it. Case in point, that sign's there. Do we have access to that road sign? No. That tree's there. I, I guess technically we would have access to the tree. There's nothing really stopping us, but... But we really want the tree, Eric. Do we want the tree? No, we don't want the tree, Eric. Don't, don't speak when you're spoken to, Eric. It was a hypothetical. God, Eric. It was a hypothetical, Katie. Learn your, learn to speak too. Oh, this is my, this, this is, is my time. Two minutes. This is my two minutes, Katie. I, I just, I lost my. Yeah. That was my. That's why yeah. we do. That's why we don't let you talk, Katie. Cause you ruin everything. 
Honestly, I had no idea where I was going to take that either. So. There was nowhere to take that. <laughs> there was it's really accessible. not. Wheelchair. Ramp. Ramp. Yeah, all right, 43. Handicap Ooh. accessible. Heavy capable accessible. Oh, traffic. Oh, yeah, traffic. It's not that bad, though. It looks good. Continue. No, it's okay. Feel free to have the on ramp. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's whatever. What? So, yeah, Eric. The car being towed. All right. Travier. Stop. I know, I haven't even opened oh. it yet. Because it's not reading my thumbprint. All right. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, kick it. To smash or not to smash? Those are his famous words spoken out by every fuckboy. When they see a fine girl on the other side of the bar, they stare, not really sure what they're going to say, and then they go over and say a three-letter word, hey. <laughs> now, what happens after this is up in to, to the two individuals, I'm not going to judge them, what they do, but he only wants to smash. That's it. Do you know who else only wants to smash? The Hulk. That <laughs> giant green gi uh, monster. Some might say an angry g green giant. Not like his cousin, the jolly green giant. Who may or may not be having some problems at, with, at home with his wife, but we're not getting into his like <laughs> His wife, Deborah's wonderful woman. Mile, Just... right to merge onto US 30 West towards Downingtown. Anyway, his wife, Deborah, beautiful woman. She's great, you know. Everyone's, she's, everyone's just kind of happy, except for the Jolly Green Giant, because he thinks his wife Deborah might be cheating on him. Now, I've known Deborah for a while. She isn't, or is she? Or is she cheating on him with me? I'm not at liberty to say whether or not I am fucking the Jolly. Whether or not I am smashing the Jolly Green Giant's wife. Now, let's let, let, let's get out of this because they might take it to divorce. We're not sure yet. There's some marriage counseling going on. They're trying to like revamp their sex life. You know, great. But let's bring it back to the Hulk and Black Widow because everybody's seen Age of Ultron, <laughs> right? And how she has this mat. Strange lullaby that makes him not want to smash. She turns the Hulk from a, a giant green fuckboy into a small nerdy white boy. <laughs> because that is all the Hulk is. But there's other things about him. He's very suicidal. If you remember in the first Avengers movie how he said he tried to shoot himself but the Hulk sh spit out the bullet. That was dark. To say the least. But... Sacrifices need to be made, especially considering the fact that the U.S. tried to nuke New York. So, let's talk about the Sokovia Accords, right? Oh my god. <laughs> First off, they're blaming New York on the Avengers, when it's really, they saved the city of New York from getting nuked. Okay. Sokovia. Well, shit, a few hundred people died at the cost of millions surviving needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Fuck the Sokovia Accords because they don't make sense in terms of the story. Now, if they would have just did registration, cool. That'd be good. Because superhero registration I think is a good idea. Because accountability is a good thing. Now, we don't want the whole tearing through downtown New York, smashing every car in sight without any accountability because he's a monster. But you know who else takes accountability? Tony Stark. Because he made Ultron. He also, I'm pretty sure, is the reason that Loki was able to open the portal. I think, if I'm remembering the first Avengers movie correctly. I'm going to blame him. Because he's very easy to blame. Robert Downey Jr. Goddamn. He's gonna be a great 
father figure for Spider-Man, I think, in Homecoming. And you know what, speaking of father figures, I hope in Justice League that Bruce Wayne is a father figure to Barry Allen. Because Barry Allen needs a father figure, because his dad's in jail. <laughs> but, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. What? What do you think your time is? I don't even know. 424. <laughs> 420. And now I have to follow up. Yep. Thanks. What was your word? Smash. Smash. Started with fuck boys, moved on to the Hulk, moved on to the Jolly Green Giant, and some and marital Did you guys know they're bringing back the Jolly Green Giant for like marketing? Like stuff? Like they're bringing him back? No, Eric. I may or may not be fucking. So is Deborah another giant? That was my we question. We don't know. You know. I'm not telling. You said your friends there. Yeah, I, I've known Deborah for a while. So is she a giant or not? I'm not at liberty to say. That's Can we assume at the very least you're a shoulder to cry on? Yes, I am a shoulder to cry on. Okay. But isn't that how, like, fuck boys do it? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, they wait for the window to come around by being there for the woman. No, that's how men are friends on Yeah. Yeah. That's how it was. That was a big mistake. That was that. Listen, it was one night in Tahiti. So you did just confirm? No. It. May or may not have happened. All, Katie, all you said was there was a night, in, there was one night in Tahiti. We all know what Tahiti is. It's a magical place. But it's a magical place. But I want to go to Coconut. What? Jamaica. Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda. Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. That's enough. No. Yeah. Cover. Cover. We just did a Whoa. small cover of Kokomo. She just gave me some weird <laughs> eyes. No. Like she's gonna spite me on this one. Three, two, one, kick it. So whenever Eric and I are yes. sleeping in the same bed or whatever, um, he has a problem about covers. And how there's not, what do you, what do you call it Eric? Please remind me. Equilibrium. The equilibrium of, of the covers are fucked up because apparently I hoard blankets. I don't. Don't listen to his nodding head. His smug ass. I don't believe you, Katie. Shut up. My point is, I don't hoard covers. Okay. He's just a stingy bastard about it. He is. Hear me out here. He has what four covers on your bed? Five. He has the sheet. Okay. Five. He has sheet as well. Okay. So. I'll be laying there. I'll try to roll and push the covers back onto him, and he gets mad at me. Like, what do you no, want four, me to do with the covers? Sheets. Four kind of sheets. Okay. What do you want me to do with the covers? Like, do I just completely take them off me and get out of bed and then fix myself? Like, what do you want me to do? I'm trying to take a nap. So then, then he grabs all of the covers and just doesn't let me have any of them because he's a dick. How many times have you done that to me? Have you taken the covers? Because you need to be spiteful. Too many. The answer is too many times. Why'd you be like twice? So, this weekend, Eric and I both brought our own covers because we know we're going to have a problem about blankets in the hotel room. There's blankets. We know. I the equilibrium of the covers could have a problem with him. So, we always, he, made me bring a, he made me bring a blanket. Because covers are, rich, are an issue in our relationship. And that's what I have to say about covers. Alright, first of all. <laughs> what was your time? 1.46. Okay. I just realized I forgot my own blanket and pillow. You don't need a blanket and pillow. I prefer them. I, pre okay. I prefer them. Now, let me explain. Mm -hmm. There's a reason I have to eat a little bit of my bed. It's because my four sheets, my, oh, I'm sorry, my three blankets and one sheet are of all different sizes. They're building their way up. As, you, as they go out of my body. So, hmm. Bigger on bottom, smaller on bottom? Smallest on bottom, because I wrapped myself in that one. I, it's, it's, the, uh, it's just a rapid. And the next layer has to be bigger to encompass the previous. Okay. Yeah. Now, the reason I have a problem with you and the covers 
is because you take the middle fucking cover, the middle two, <laughs> yank out that one, and then guess what? The other two are just gone. Like, like if you grab the third one from the top, I am left with the bottom one, and the other two that were on top are just somewhere the fuck else. Not true. 100% true. And the reason that we both got a building cover is, because I know you're still going to take mine. We're going to get in, the, we're going to be laying in that bed, and you are going to roll and grab a cover, roll over, and I'm going to be left there with my blanket, because I hit brought it, because I know you're going to take more. The problem is, like, the problem is, you take and you take all of the blankets. Oh my god! Take, 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 is this take. the weekend Eric and I break up? Tell no. us in the comments down below. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright. I mean, you guys have made it this far. I guess. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I mean, like, the days, I'm gonna stop. The days leading up to our uh, one year anniversary, I just kept counting down. We were like, Three days left. Three days to back out. Two hours to back out. Four minutes to back out. It's an 18 seconds. Oh, stop. Stop. Scare. Scare? Scare. Mm -hmm. Like, when you talk, you know. That's not what I did. Scare. Where is scary? Ready? Scare or scary? Scare or scary? Scare. Scare? Scary. Scare. Stop trying to walk. Scary, yes. Ready? Set. Go. I'm scared of pretty much everything. Like, I don't, I, I really don't bring it up too much. But like, if I lifted off all the shit that scared me, we'd be here a while. I don't like drowning. I'm scared of spiders. I'm scared of falling. I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of stairs half the time. I'm scared of elevators, escalators, broken bones, blood, needles, dinosaurs. Bigger spiders, sharks, clowns, uh, did I say escalators? Yeah. Eels? <laughs> uh, did I say elevators? Yeah. Hell itself. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually really scared of heaven, angels, demons, liars, people who tell the truth, Josh Peck, uh, <laughs> Triple H, <laughs> Triple H, and overall, what is considered modern wrestling, and most of all, the Olympics. You know what I'm scared of the Olympics? Skeletons. You guys know what skeleton sledding is? I'm going to explain it anyway, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> skeleton sledding is the act of pretty much climbing into a metal tube. Some would call it like a metal casket or like a like a pill. Whatever, it's a casket. Well, no, no, it's when you lay on the back of the, you lay on like a little uh, sheet thing, and you go down a a tube of ice and snow. This is the Winter Olympics. The bobsled? No. The bobsled, this is the one person going down at like upper 80s, I believe. And these people, I, uh, the year with Apollo Ono, someone died for the skeleton sledding that year. You know why? Because bones don't break in this point. They shatter. Most of the time, it's your skull or your leg. You know what that means? Death. And we are all scared of death. We're all scared of dying. You know what can kill us? Disease. Spiders. Triple H. Josh Peck. <laughs> elevators. Escalators. Eels. Hell. Uh, uh, angels. Demons. Monsters. Kittens. Cats. Dogs. Puppies. Puppers. Doggos. Dags. Travers. Nick. <laughs> Katie. This car and my penis. <laughs> Kill it. Uh, it's okay. Alright, cool. Ah. My penis. Ah. So, I have one question. Yeah? Does Josh yeah. Peck really scare you? <laughs> no. Okay. I was gonna say, is, is it the fact that he might hit you with his car because he thinks you're over? You will never think I'm over considering <laughs> I am a little white boy. That is true. Eric is a little white boy, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm a fat little white boy. Stop. I think the point was that you're like Spanish. Yeah, I know. Alright. I think that's where he was going. He's white on the inside. 
He wearing hats. He is. Eric's the brownest white boy I've ever met. Really? Ugh. So, going again? Duh. I thought we were just gonna shoot the shit now. Yeah, I think just shoot the shit because I I've gotten nothing but shit I, yeah. for fucking words. You can't, you can't I honestly like can't. Eat, I don't even know what to like say to that, Nick. I mean, like, this game just does not. This like is me. why we need to take improv classes. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yes. That's what I just said. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I know. Yes, and. Exit to Yes, Cast. 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 Yes, Yes, Cast. 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 Yes, what was it like being on Man at Arms? Because he was the voice of Sam from Fire Emblem. Turn and left onto North First oh. Avenue, then turn left onto West Kings Highway. Left, and I think we're gonna meet yeah. left. And then the second question I asked him was, what is one movie that he never wants to see again? Which I believe when you go to a convention, you should take... It. If it's a big convention, you're able to get two questions in, one should be professional, the other one should be personal. Like, what's just like your perfect Sunday? And what is the biggest regret in your entire career? <sighs> what is one movie you guys never want to see again? Akira. Um. I don't even know. Jack and Jill. Oh. I feel that. Yeah, but that's because you hate that movie. Yeah. yeah. But, like, that movie's not good, so it doesn't matter. I, like, I, I loved watching Akira, but I will never watch it again. It is... monstrous. Hmm. Huh. really talking. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. But, Eric. By default. That's what I was thinking. Turn left onto West King huh. Fuck. It was something about what you were talking about, like, when you were scared. Oh, I'll get it because you have the spirit of a butterfly. God damn it. There is one point I'm like, I should have said that. But I'm like, no, I can't just, I can't interrupt him. I don't remember exactly what point. I know when I'm listening to it again, I'll be like, it's right there. I'm not, I don't understand that spirit Nick of a butterfly. Nick didn't take the quiz. No, he didn't. Really? Right. Did he should have. Travers, uh, myself, and Eric did. Travers, yeah. what were you? Lion. I was a deer. The proud lion, the submissive deer, and I am just... Beautiful butterfly. Oh, wait, is this butterfly? Or is this bird? This bird. This bird? So butterfly is... Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go through my hand again. That? This is bird. I know this, this is, is bird. This is bird. Yeah, this is 100% bird. Okay. Alright. We're talking wait. sign language, right? No, I'm just talking about, like, shadow. Oh, okay. Because yeah. this is... This I've always known to be bird. I know this is bird in sign language. You know what you've been told. I did, was taught that this was bird did an actual yes. knowledgeable Yes, and I, an ASL interpreter came to the with and we were doing right. sign language and she us how to do she taught us uh, somewhere over the rainbow one point sign language. No, bad, bad, no, stop, get back on the road, good, good. What? Hold up. My GPS is being a bitch. That's not that hard, GPS is super. Yeah. What road are you on? Oh, yay, this is the podcast where we get lost. Yay! Oh, look! It's all on. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all on record. Just go straight. I guess. <laughs> yeah, just go straight. We got this. We're, okay, we're, we're good. good. We're, good. we're back on? Yeah. yeah, we're good. That was something else. How long till I turn right? Six months. Six months. Okay. Also, I mean, we named the uh, GPS at my house Barbara. Who's we? Okay. Why? Because she sounds like, sounds like a Barbara. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. If you could, ha- if you if you bought a bar and you're running a bar, right? It's successful, whatever. What do you call your bar? I have a name that I cannot say because of Pro Lovecraft. Ah. Yeah. So I will call it. Ooh, I want no, because I want to use. I'll call it the Silver Rose. Okay. Where is this bar? Anyway, what? I'll call it Nick. <laughs> Nick's bar. 
No, just Nick. The Nick bar. Yeah, Nick bar. Hmm. Because I can't, because I don't have anything else. That shitty joke I made like a couple years back. Where it's gonna be a taco, where it's gonna be a Mexican bar, but the anime theme is gonna be called Otaku Tuesdays. Cause I have nothing else. Who's gonna use my last name? Brennan's. Brennan's bar. The BB. The BB. Yeah. BB. It is BB. It is BB. I See, I I'd wanna like bring back a bar that already did exist, but okay. closed down. I love that. Solely because it was owned by my grand uncle. I think that's how that works. In Ireland? No, in Real? America. Or like yeah, like my dad's uncle. Okay. Would be my grand uncle. Yes. yes. Okay. Whatever. So, yeah, him. And it was the Irish house, okay. which got shortened to Travers. That's cool. Uh, Don't ask. How does that get sh- Don't. shortened? To- okay. How how it works is his last name was Travers. My dad worked there. My other. Uh, two uncles worked there as bartenders. One was a bouncer. Drag somebody across the... Uh, like, when he would, whenever you be dragging somebody out of the bar, you make sure they hit their face on every single stool. What's that bar's that? also the only place my mom's ever seen my dad get angry. And he dragged the guy across the bar and threw him out. So he's like, dragging the dragging before. I imagine this thing in, like, in, like, cartoons or shows... Or he just slams him on the actual bar top and just smashes him yep. through drinks. Yep. Yeah. Or pretty much just his face. Yeah. That was... Oh, man, there was a fight. This one girl took a lunch tray, swiped everything off it, picked it up, and smacked it on the door. Yeah. I don't think we had... Did we, I don't think we had any crazy fights like that. Nothing crazy, other than the one over a chicken sandwich. Yeah, there was... A chicken sandwich. I mean, I can't judge. We've had fights over. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of a chicken sandwich. I would fight somebody over a Uh, Please. No, it was a Chick-fil-A uh, chicken sandwich. Oh, so I would back. fight somebody over some Chick-fil-A. But to the point where you got, where you and the other person got expelled for a year? Yeah. Are you serious? That's how bad they fought. They got expelled. Holy crap. Weren't they brothers too? Yes. That was, that, yeah, it was, that's amazing. Yeah, it was, brother, it was insert name here and his brother. Oh my god. Nick doesn't like the one. No. But with it's no. no. Damn. No. Oh, uh, I don't. I forget. I ever told this story on the podcast, but uh, same guy that fought his older brother with the chicken sandwich. Just bane of my funding his fucking existence for a couple of years. Um, okay. It was when it was. I had physics class with him the year he came back. I think it was like junior year. And, like, everyone fucking hated him. His lab partners hated him. The teacher fucking hated him almost as much as I did. So he gets up. He goes to the bathroom. And he's gone for, like, a couple minutes. And I just, like, you know what? Let me, I, I just get an idea in my head. I was like, you know what? Let's see what happens. I raise my hand. He's like, yes, Nick. He's like, I don't have a question about what's on the board. Um, I was just wondering, can we just lock the door since he's gone? Our teacher just stood there for, like, for, like a couple seconds, got up and locked the door. Are you serious? Yeah, he just locked. Out. He locked the other kid out. Oh, locked the other one. Okay. Yeah. But also, speaking of physics and idiots in our grade, please. So, there's this one kid in our grade, right? He's a notorious idiot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not gonna say his name, but people will know once I like anybody who went to Springfield will know once I tell the story of how he decided to cheat on his physics exam. I was just thinking that he was in my fucking class. Uh huh. I remember you telling me. I was just thinking that story. So, this kid, not very smart, so he had to cheat on the final. Okay. In order to try and pass the class. Alright, I accept it, I accept it. The idiot uses Siri. Oh my god. And it starts speaking. Dumbass. Hold on. There's a part you're, uh, either, there's a part you're forgetting. So our, our, that physics teacher, like I said, really cool guy, Nick hates him. I love him. He's great. He has a couple questions he kept on the test throughout the entire year. Just like really basic stuff. Right, just in case. He, that was one of the fucking questions that has been on every. He doesn't change the answer, or I don't think I don't think he even changes like all the numbers or anything. Okay. He might he it's he old. changes the numbers. Just he changes the numbers. He, change, okay. he keeps the same concept, but changes the numbers. Still, it it was a basic. It was like something like firing cannonball out of the thing, like yeah. very basic basic physics on the final. 
He uses the fu fucking Siri on that question. Not one of the more advanced ones. Not I... something we only learned a little recently. Hey. Yeah. So, all right. So, in in high school, we had this room where, like, if you had uh, an IEP, which is like a thing when you have like uh, a learning disability, uh -huh. you would go there to take tests. You had more time on tests and stuff. Uh, I used that room all the time to cheat on like final exams because so we had iPads they, in, in that room or we would just for finals or whatever we could sit in the library not that room because that room was being rented out by teachers or whatever they didn't care they didn't check there wasn't anybody it was just kind of on your own merit so we honor system yeah so like um, and like they would be like oh don't bring your iPad up then I would just be like alright and I would stop my locker and grab my iPad and then go to the library and cheat on my tests. Wow. That's, yeah. Damn. That's also how I, I never cheated on a that's test. That's also how I passed. Um, what's the second? What's the third science stream? Bio. Yeah, that's how I passed bio. Because I wasn't gonna pass bio. I. Or no, no, no. Uh, chemistry. That's, I didn't pass chemistry. But that's how I almost passed chemistry. And then I passed bio. They took bio and cyber, and I just uh, googled all the answers to everything. I accidentally cheated on another test. That's for not a else. thing. No, here's why. <laughs> so it was junior year LA? Uh, uh, it was, uh, whatever year uh, LA I had with. Um, I don't think I actually had one. It, it was like sophomore, junior year LA. Uh, another one of my favorite teachers who's out sick. Uh, the same one that uh, Josh Barr and I had a uh, film for. Did that be sophomore? Yeah, that'd be something. That would be something. Yeah. Yep. Junior, you probably had Maraz. For Carrigan. No, it would have been Maraz. Well, whatever. One yeah. year during high school. Yeah. Not part of the actual year. Yeah, uh, but it doesn't matter. He's out sick, so it's like, all right, let's all just sit in other spots that we're not supposed to. And it was it was one of the asshole subs. It was the older guy. Oh, uh, like, Mr. Feigl. I don't know. I don't know. Put it this way. Is that his name, or is that what you guys called him? No, that's what he told us to call him. No, he didn't tell us to call him Mr. Flagpole. Because his name in German is Flagpole. Like, if he if, if I, you translate his name from German to English, it's Flagpole. That's cool. Okay. I don't, I don't think... Turn right onto West Kings Highway. West Kings Highway, okay. Uh, I don't think so. But anyway, he was like, alright. Alright, everyone, sit in your seats. And it was... The Class Clown. You know, A.L.? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. He wanted to sit. He wanted to sit next. To, well, we can use first names. Yeah, I guess it, it, uh, it was Andrew, and he wanted. To, he wanted to sit next to Rob. Like, all right, whatever. So I sat next to him. I was like, all right. It was. This, it was our weekly spelling test as well. I was like, all right, whatever. Oh no! That kid's an idiot. West Kings really? Yes. No. Here's the thing. We were like, all right, all right, whatever. We'll write down the yes, names. So it's like, oh, sorry. Oh, we got we got mixed Kings up. Highway. Whatever. We forgot that teacher pre-wrote, pre-writes the names. Yep. So, I was Andrew, and Andrew was me for a day. And I took his test and took mine. We both actually did really well. Huh. So, it didn't matter. I guess it's probably because we were both like, I don't want to fuck this kid over. Yeah, no. No, he was, he, he was, I was like, dude, if you fail, he was like, no, I, I, I did fine. I have LA, especially middle, before high school and back, English was my worst subject. Mm -hmm. High school and on, it's been my best. I was going to ask, what were your guys' best subjects in high school? Science and math. So it used to be science. It, you, mine was, it used to be math and science, like I said. Mine was uh, LA or whatever writing we had. Well, mine was if, always going to If we did just fucking the core classes, it would have been LA and um, uh, science. Eric. It's a turkey hill. <laughs> Not, Not even on. But uh, fuck Am I going straight? Hills. Yeah. Going okay. straight. Okay. But yeah. Uh, English for me, but that was because all the teachers really let me get away with a lot. Even you know who? The hard ass? Female? No. Journalism? No, female. Legs? Oldest. Legs? Oh, I didn't have her for English. Did you have her? Oh, okay, okay. No, um... Okay, nice turn signal, jackass. Nice. Oh, Jesus, Nick. <laughs> Freshman year. I didn't do my research project. Neither did I. And I, I didn't did, either. And I, did, <laughs> same. But I still went to the next one. <laughs> my teacher got arrested. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See, ours, like, we didn't have to, like, pass that class in order to, like, move on to the next year since it wasn't English. Mm -hmm. 
It was like one of the like supplemental classes, like every freshman. Had oh to take. no, I'm talking about the. I'm, I was thinking about the research paper we had to do for social studies. Oh no, we had. That was sophomore year. That was sophomore year. Yeah, no, I completely. I didn't do any of the fucking work. Like a month later, it was like, all right, random facts, random facts, random facts. Just, uh, all right, here's a book. I, here's a book I used. Here's a book I used. Here's a book I used. And cite, cite, cite. He didn't check any of them. The worst part about that. And it was the one we hate. Yeah. The worst part about that though. Since, like, he's, like, I had so many meetings because of that goddamn research paper oh that year. Oh, my God. No, because the teacher, like, well, yeah, he didn't get on your ass about not doing the work. He got on mine. Maybe because I was still getting hundreds on his test, so he was just, like, I need to find something to torture this kid with. <laughs> like, okay, so what happened He's one was, of the good ones. We were running our paper, spring break happened. We came back. All we were just going to do was, like, finalize our stuff and turn it in. We come back. First day class of English back in on school after spring break. Police officer walks in. They're asking us about our teacher. Asking us if they were ever weird and if they acted strange. Turns out they got arrested in the car over spring break. <laughs> With some students. With some students. Do, using some illegal substances. <laughs> Our sophomore year I did all of the... Oh, oh. No, I wasn't there. Oh. Sorry. So basically what ended up happening was a week... We just had random subs coming in every day because they didn't know who to replace her with because no one knew this was going to happen. And then finally we had a permanent sub come in and when the teacher came in to clean out the desk, they took all of our research paper stuff with it. Granted, I had done none of the work, but they couldn't prove that. Yep. So then we, had to, we got to redo it, but we got to redo it as a slideshow. Okay. So I got like a B. <laughs> Damn, On girl. the paper I did not even do. Uh, but you did do the paper? Force, uh, force, yeah. force, force, Please force, 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 Please force, don't force. Please don't turn. Okay. Yeah, we're in Lancaster County now. Yes, we are. Lancaster. Lancaster. Uh, sophomore year, I did all of my work. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes before class, right in front of her. I was actually walking to class early, do all of the work. Leave it there and then go. Junior year, uh, I flat out did no work except my uh, research project. I didn't. But that was also the 50 year. Yeah. That was when they implemented a new rule that no one could get lower than a 50. Yeah. Or oh, anything that they turn in. As long as you turn it in, you could not get anything lower than a 50. You could write your name on it and be completely blank and you turn it in as a 50. It's still a fail. But there's a but it's, it's better than a zero. Because then they made a rule that if you had an incomplete, you couldn't pass the class. Uh, and in senior year, I regularly took naps in class in <laughs> front of the teacher. Oh, oh my god! And and this is what he would do in the middle of in the middle of Macbeth, where I have a role. <laughs> he gave me a role to keep me up. I would put my head down on top of the book. He'd walk up, kick the side of my chair when it's my time to speak. <laughs> and then let me go back to sleep. You know how I know he didn't care? He gave me a gift when I graduated. <laughs> he gave me our literary arts magazine. That's like $35. You have to pay $35 for, for our literary arts magazine at the end of the year. He gave it to Eric for free. <sighs> okay. So speaking of sleeping in like classes, throughout high school I didn't until senior year. I didn't do it till junior year. Like, come senior year, I was just like, it okay. was the last half of senior year, and I'm just oh, like, yeah, you're just, I'm already accepted to college. It doesn't matter. Fuck nothing this. Nothing matters. At that point, nothing fucking matters. Like, I, there was a good point in senior year where I just wasn't sleeping at home. Like, I just, I had really bad insomnia. So I'd fall asleep in Spanish. In his class. And he would like, senior, senior loves us. It's awesome. I think senior's gonna be my best man. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I'm a best man who's like 30 years older than me. He's he's so great. I think I fell asleep when we got... I, I, I remember... Like, I saw him and his wife. His wife is so pretty. I remember there was one... I, th I want to say like maybe the like, only time I actually ever fell asleep at school. Uh, during freshman biology? Was it freshman year? Oh, yo. The year we got the yeah, year, I was like, the year I had chemistry, I did not do uh, I think the iPad the year I did nothing but cheat on my like, tests. Yeah, yeah, that's like, what happened. It wasn't, it wasn't like I wasn't paying attention or anything. It was just 
quickly. I just put my hand. I just put my hand down like this. I was. I was listening, but my dog had kept me up really like the night before because he was just up in and out in and out of bed for some reason that night, and I just fell asleep like that. I opened my eyes and just saw everyone staring at me. It's the most mortifying thing. I hate it so much. Sorry. But when the person like me snores. I, I, I did it once in my Spanish class, and I woke up and I literally like wanted to cry because I was so mortified. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I, I've never, I've never done something like that before. So Katie, you no, know, you said you didn't do anything in chemistry. Yes. So, chemistry, right? Uh, I had it with bar and hop. That's amazing. Oh. That's so amazing. already. It's you, going to be a bad time, like, <laughs> for our grade. For our grade, say, it's going to be a bad time. You guys are going to have a goddamn great time. You know, for, so, there was, so, like, okay. this teacher, do you know how to waste an hour and a half of class with this teacher? Ask him to talk about stuff. No, ask him about food. Huh. He will go on for an hour and a half about food. Once we asked him about tomatoes, he went on for an hour and a half about tomatoes. We also got to go on for an hour and a half about how he's asked by the mafia to make drugs. But, another story for another day. So, during this class, we, me, the Hom, and Bar, every class would play the game of life. Hold like, on. we'd start a new game of life. Like, on your phones, or? On, like, like uh, like, I had, like, a e-reader at the time. Okay. I was like... You brought the board game in. No. Like, oh my god. Uh, no. I like to th- I like to imagine. That's why I'm like, I but can imagine. There was right times so the teacher would see us playing the game of life. He'd like he'd look at it and be like, Who's the doctor? <laughs> he would ask, Who's the doctor? He would ask questions like about he didn't care. Also, this teacher was got a 30 on one of his quizzes. Oh you know what my final grade ended up being on that quiz? An 80. Oh. He I'm... got rounded to an 80. Thank God for that curve, am I right? Thank guys? God for the curve, or else the I wouldn't have curve. passed chemistry. The curve was that steep? Yes, I because fa- no one did good. Other I, than uh, one girl. I failed chemistry, so they were like, you need, you need to have another science credit. You can do astronomy, or you can do horticulture. Why so would you like, choose astronomy? No, because that required physics. Or math or something. I don't know, I had to take a math class for it. And I was like, fuck that. I'm just going to go take horticulture. We spent the entire Ten semester miles. making like uh, table, like table decorations, like um, centerpieces out of Christmas tree bark branches. The entire semester, and then we got to go to the flower show. Uh, that was it. That's all we did. It was amazing. We listened to Christmas music, and then she ordered us sandwiches, and we watched a bunch of Christmas movies in the last day of class. It was amazing. We did nothing. Damn it! Another one I can't remember if I rem- if, if I forgot. On, uh, <laughs> I just turn and see Eric's Eric down. I'm like, did he just like no knock? time? Shut down? Yeah. Uh, uh, an update. Are we good? Yeah. There was an update. Um, Eric's good now. He's updated to the newest version of Eric. <laughs> Speaking of updates, I was watching iRobot. Holy shit. Alan Tudyk that's acts the, the shit out of everyone else. I gotta watch iRobot. That's, that's the one with Will Smith, right? Yes. Alan Tudyk is just Wait. the best actor uh, around. Did that man get out? Does he have an Oscar? He's down. Uh, if he doesn't, I'm, I'm sad. Hold on, let me look it up. Because he deserves one. Because he, act, like... The amount right. of stuff he does. Let's see. You got Firefly. You've got... Uh, that one getting him an Oscar, but he was good in that. Yes. You've got him in Moana as Hey Hey. Fucking and Cinemasins like brought up a good point about it. I'm not sure if he got overpaid or underpaid, but he's fucking great. No, he is. He's amazing. He was uh K2SO in Rogue yep, One. One. Huh. He was uh Wesselton in Frozen, right? Yes. 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 Weasel Town. It's Wesselton. <laughs> like Alan Tudyk. He is in a Night's Tale as one of the squires. The other, the other squire, really. That's a great movie. Yeah, but, that's true. Uh, but going back to classes real quick, so I'm just trying. Could be. Uh, anyway, as I was, as I was, uh, as I was saying, going back to classes real quick. I forget. This is another Seven one. Words. This oh. is another one I can't remember. I've told on the podcast or st- or a Seven video words. before. Have you guys ever took web design? No. 
Wait, Web wasn't your final in that? Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Web design Wait. as building websites? As yeah. learning C++ and all that. You learned C++? He does not have any options. I think beginning, beginning, beginning we learned the basics of it, then it, uh, then the one I was going to go into, advanced, we learned, we just used uh, Dreamweaver. Guys, he was in a lot Why wouldn't you have used, like, he was in HTML? He was it might have been HTML. I think we, Ralph. like, I think beginning. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are what you need for a web design. For beginning web design. Oh, I'm, th I'm getting the design and programming mixed. That's what it was. Because, yeah, programming is... Full court dinner? Let's go. Yeah. Today. Anyway. So, yeah. Where would you say? Yeah, um, first year, I was like, all right, all right, it was fun, you know, it's a handy little tool if I ever needed, which now you might. Advanced web design. Uh, I want to say that was my... Either junior or uh, senior year. I think junior. Might have, might have been junior. There was two kids. There was me and this other kid, Ali. And yeah. Ali, Ali, cool guy. It's good. I love Ali. We, we did different Ali. Yeah, we got completely, completely different Ali. This Ali I have a story about though. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we were the only two. Okay. So we worked on the same project the entire year. And by that, it means I worked on it some days. Other days, I just kind of listened to table talk and, like, other talk. stuff. Uh, well, still working on it. It actually, 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 for the most part, I actually did work on it now I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I've barely worked on design. So for our final project, he was just going to... Because we, we had no other grades other than that website we were designing. Mm -hmm. Other than that, that was going that was to be our grade for our final project. And I brought in my Wii, and we played Smash Brothers and bowling. Yeah. No, 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 no. We were gonna take we were gonna take the scores from bowling, and then it's like right, whoever got highest gets a hundred, lowest gets a gets a ninety. Then, but then he was like, oh yeah, I just give you guys both hundreds. Like, That's a, cool. So at our high school, you couldn't have a class without I think it was less than ten kids. You had to have a class with at least ten kids no, in it. That I think. So I, teachers. All right. So let's say. The child development teacher at our school. Um, after you take child development, you can be, we basically are allowed to run a preschool in the back of the classroom. And uh, last year, she proposed uh, like a number two to that, where you would do, where it would be like a larger class. Uh, you would have harder lesson plans to write, harder activities to practice and, and teach and whatever, and like higher skills to teach as well. So like, you have to get more than ten kids to sign up for a class, and that's only if the school actually accepts your proposal for a class. Mm -hmm. We have to go through like this whole thing where they're like, all right, we don't know if we can, if we can't, like, if there's really a, 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 like a, a want for the class. Okay. So like, and then if a new class does get introduced, the seniors will automatically have first pick before anyone else. Well, yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. I was like, Springfield, Springfield has the, um, the same rule where there has to be a minimum number of kids. But most of the class dropped out. Oh, okay. Like right before the, uh, before the new semester At started. That point, they would so it's like, well, we would have just um, canceled class and made you move to a different class. No, like they gave us that option. It's like, all right, because I, I think at the very beginning there's like maybe two or three other people, and like Ali were the only, I were the only ones that stayed. Mm -hmm. So all right, we'll give you. And he was like, all right, school, give you guys an option: you either go find a new class or just stay here the uh a lot more one-on-one -on -one. right which i, I, I like, usually find helpful to have the, more one-on-one -on -one with the teacher and i swear to god the dude was amazing like he was really uh much older yeah kind of heavier set just like he was jolly like right there's no other way to describe him other than jolly he was just a good guy like good yeah dude. yeah he, he was a really cool guy like like i said we got away with doing he didn't make us do anything right like a lot of a lot of stuff i've worked about web, web design i just a kind of new from uh, the beginning year and just kind of picked up some extra stuff here and there. Right. Like he had he had lessons for the first couple weeks, but then we're just like, all right, now here's the here's the book. If you need anything else, it's really in there. Here's the projects. Uh, I'm gonna set deadlines and that quickly stopped after a while. Right. right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like with two other kids, like what else can you really do? Yeah. Okay. But I want to tell an Ali story real quick. So senior year, right? We were in English. Mm -hmm. Now our English teacher, like when we started new books, put us in a circle. 
for us to all kind of talk it out, like talk out like some of the main themes that we're going to be going over in the books and like debate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's like everybody gets like everybody's different side of the argument. So we had another friend, Josh, who was over on the. So me and Josh, we're assholes, and oh. we we magnify each other's assholeness. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm slowly remembering bits of this story. Really bad. So, no, so. You had me on one side of the room near Ali. You had Josh on the other side near this kid who we dubbed Harry Potter. Oh my god. Oh! So, I love this story! Right? Okay. So we're going around, we're talking, we're debating. Of course, it's the last half of the year, so no one really cares. Except for, like, you know, the few kids that, like, oh, I care, I'm blah, 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 blah. So, whoa. Except for the few oh. kids that. Do genuinely just want the 4.0 or whatever, Where? or like to then their class rank is everything. Yeah. But or the ones that just enjoy the class. Yeah, but the majority of us did not care. We had a kid get expelled, but that's a different story. So you had me on one side near Ali, Josh on the other side near Harry Potter. So we'd start. Me and Josh like. So like after like one of the things like we saw like. Ali and Harry Potter were, like, kind of, like, obviously on opposite sides of, like, a lot of different things. So me and Josh, we looked at each other, and we're just like, we got this. So I'd start backing up Ali, and while Josh would back up Colton. Well, that's his real name. Anyway, Harry Potter. <laughs> well, it was his first name. Yeah, it's just his first name. Whatever. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> He'd back up Harry Potter. Now, it was, like, an hour and a half class. By the end of the class... We almost had them, like, fist fighting in the middle of the circle because Ollie jumped over his desk to get closer. Oh, my God. <laughs> because me and Josh, we would just escalate, like, the conflict between them. And, like, other people around the room started, like, catching on. So they'd also escalate it. Oh, my God. So it was, and then the teacher had to get up and be like, no, sit down. Now, this teacher was, what, 5'5", five, five, maybe 140 soaking wet? Yeah. Really tiny. Really frail. And Ali isn't a small person. No, I'll... I'll he's small in he's small, height, but he's built. But, yeah, he's, like, very... He's muscular. So, yeah, we almost got them to fight. And, like, Ali's just, like... Afterwards, he's just, like, I realize what you guys are doing. So he wanted to put on a show, but he's, like, if Colton would have came at me, I would have punched him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, Another Ali story, Holloway. Oh, yes, yes. Real quick. A uh, fun little short story about uh, that teacher. She used to teach in an inner city school. Okay. So, a st and the way her desk was positioned, uh, it was like right up against the, was like right up against a corner. Mm -hmm. So a kid kind of like, not physically pushed her back into it, but like like got close and so you get back cornered up to her it. into the cornered into the corner, corner and then farted on her. What? <laughs> Hold on. Yes. What the fuck? She told us this story in freshman year. I didn't. I didn't hear it till like senior. I heard it freshman year. But um. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Another better Ali story as well. Sophomore year, we were in the same history class or whatever it was. Yeah, it was history. So Halloween comes around, right? And he comes up to us at lunch beforehand, since we went to lunch in the class. This class. He's like, he came up to us at lunch like, yo, look what I got under my shirt. So he opens up his shirt, and there's a Superman logo. It's like, all right, so like halfway through the class, I'm going to like add to my phone <laughs> and like act like I'm getting a call like I'm Superman, then rip off my shirt and run out the door. So, you know, so the teacher's in the middle of a lecture. <laughs> middle of a lecture. <laughs> answers his phone, stat jumps up, answers his phone. What? You need me? Okay, I'll be right there. Rips his shirt up. Like, rips your shirt and runs out the door. He had a little cape, too. <laughs> runs out the but door. It was a full body, it was a full body, too. It wasn't just a shirt. Yeah. It was a full oh body costume God. as well. But, so he runs out the door. And then the teacher's just like, uh, I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> he was so just, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's the best thing about this teacher. Even when he was yelling, he was monotone. Yes. Like, he, the volume Hello. would raise, but not the pitch. So. Hello. 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 School, Pretty much. We had a teacher. Kind of. That was. 
Yeah, well, we commonly next. referred to. You got two miles. Yep. yep. And yeah, that's a keep right. Guys, he was commonly referred to as Soggy Froggy. <laughs> Soggy Froggy? What the fuck? Because he would wear these awful... Yo, we could learn how to fly a helicopter. Let's guys, us do it. Guys. All right, let's do it. We think, guys, how much money do we pay for these tickets? I don't know. Yeah. I still need to buy one again. Long story. What? Long story. Not really. But I don't feel like talking about it on the podcast. Okay. okay. Um. But, uh, yeah. Soggy he, Froggy. He's called Soggy Froggy. Do you want to know why? Was he a soggy man? Because my mom threw up. Oh, shit. Oh. So, my mom had him. And she was, like, this was back in, like, must have been early 90s, I guess. My mom had him. And she was she was really sick one day during and all he does is lecture by the way. He uh, lectures and he ignores students. That's it. Yep. So um he's he's uh in the middle of talking to another teacher and she had asked to go down to the nurse and the nurse said, Go upstairs, tell your teacher you're gonna lay down here until your mom comes to get you. So she goes upstairs. Uh uh Sir, 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 sir. He's like uh Miss Brennan, I'm talking to another teacher. You need to wait. She's starting to feel like she's going to throw up. Sir, 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 sir. Refuses to ignore her. Just going to flip it off. Refuses oh. to ignore her? <laughs> Refuses to ignore her. Oh, oh, no, no shit. We got her. Fuck you, shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anyone who has some decent. Anyone who wants fuck to fuck sheets. with. Anyone who fucks with sheets, we don't fuck with you. No, we don't. Oh. Fuck sheets. Um. Anyway. Oh, I feel bad for Barr. There's nothing up where he's going for college next year. There's nothing but sheets up that way. Well, that poor boy, we have we'll have to w- bring him a Walla hoagie we'll have to every send time. Wawa Wawa care package. Yeah, Wawa, Wawa, yeah, Wawa has like the lower half. Sheets has like the upper. Fuck yeah. sheets. Well, um, like, yeah, we're, like, we're in like the middle. Yeah. yeah, we are. It's like that, like, there's like a point where it's just sheets. Where it's just Wawa. Sunshine, then hell. <laughs> um, so... And they're fake ass cities. <laughs> anyway. So she all of a sudden just projectile vomits onto him while he's wearing this ugly ass green suit. Oh. And now he will forever be known as Soggy Froggy. But no, the fact that square, that he also had a square head, putting it out there, like his his head was like uh, Carl from Up. Oh. That's what it looked, he looked like, just like a crotchety old man. Like the funny no part about him. that, it's, it's like, like my mom, yeah. It survived he... several generations yeah. of students. Yeah. Did he remember? Yeah. He did. Did he hate you? Oh, yeah, because my mom had to come in for, like, uh, back to school night. Because this was sixth grade. Oh. This, was, this was halfway through sixth grade when I had him. I had him in the second semester of sixth grade. Oh, mm-hmm. no. This is what caused you to hiss at people. No, this was after I'd started. Thank you very much. But we don't talk about that on the podcast. Except you already have. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. You have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. have. When did that happen? The one you interrupted. Did I? Yep. Or did Charlie bring it up? You did. My legs like big cramp right now. Are you okay? My yeah. ass is big cramp right now. Like I have to pull it in so it doesn't snap. Maybe right. move up. No. Please. No, no. That's not gonna change it because I would need to like get stretch. Yeah, you'd have yeah. to stretch. Okay, <laughs> stop <laughs> fucking your wheel. How far out are we? We are about six miles. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Twenty-two minutes. Yep. We yeah. wah wah hoagies. Man, don't say wah wah, wah hoagies. hoagies. Oh shit. That's real sad. You can't make a catchy song about sheets. No, because no, fuck, fuck sheets. sheets. Sheets isn't a fun word to say. Wah wah, kind of fun to say. Sheets. Sounds like a when I went to Savannah, shit. our yeah. travel agent, our travel agency, like sent someone to like be our tour guide or whatever, and we showed her a picture of a Wawa, and she's like, "What's a way way?" And we were like, "Oh no." Did oh, you know how to say Schuylkill? No. Have you guys mm-hmm. seen Skykel. Sassy Wendy's? I see Nihilist Arby's. Nihilist Arby's. And their Twitter. Um, no, people are drawing fan art of a Sassy Wendy. Oh my God! Yeah, so it's many amazing. It's amazing. Playing as, as Wendy from Wendy's. Because the fuck, their fucking Twitter is amazing. Like, their actual, like, Twitter. They've just been clapping back at people. It's amazing. And it's, it's, it's oh beautiful. my god. It's beautiful. Like, I saw, like, a picture of someone cosplaying Wendy, and I was like, 
what is this about? And then I saw another, and I'm like... I've, I've seen so guys, many fan art. If you could be put in charge of a company's social media page, like a big company, I'm not talking about you, Katie. Thank I'm talking you. like a big company, like Denny's company. or McDonald's Oh, or no, I'd fuck people all the time. Oh. Who would you want it to be? Disney. Oh. Ooh. Like, and that's not just because I want to work for Disney. It's, I think it'd be legitimately fun to have them poke fun at themselves in social media because their social media, for the most part, is very straightforward and professional. I think it'd be really fun if, like, Disney, of all people, was, like, the Wendy's Twitter. I think that'd be a... You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're they're so serious about everything and serious about their image and how to portray themselves. Oh, oh, my God. Nintendos. Okay. I would have you saw so that tweet, right? much fun. I told you about that right before. The, the Wiggler. Wigglers, yeah, yeah every, everyone's seen that tweet. I fucking love that tweet. We've talked Walmart. about it a couple times. <laughs> but it doesn't like Walmart. <laughs> Does Walmart have a Twitter? Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. Oh. But oh, I wouldn't yeah, do it because I would start every tweet with, well. <laughs> like, how Nick, can you not just. Don't like, fuck your car. Sigh, say well, and then think of Walmart. <laughs> Like, well, Walmart. Well, Walmart. Uh, like we got like Walmart's Target's there. out of stock. We got bread and milk. Everyone's gonna make milk sandwiches during the apocalypse. I was right? gonna say. I don't understand it. Why? Bread and milk. I, I don't know. There's all the things you. Then go bad. So get water. Why doesn't anyone tell me to get water? One milk, milk will go bad. Yeah. I think it's but, just. Guys, a new couch. Couch! Yeah, you know that out of the couch. But it's a little, you it's know. Small. It's also yeah, in... we're also going away for a weekend. Lancaster. Think about this car. We, this we car could, is not very large. We could we could strap not. it at the top. I if it was my it. car, maybe. I think we could strap it to the top. I think we got it. Could we? Yeah. Strap, not of yours. Yours doesn't have the thing. Mm. Mm. That doesn't need to. It's, it does. It really does. Bunch it does. Cord to the bottom if of you the wanted to, like, yeah, yeah, we get some belt, we get some belt clamps. That's not safe at all. It's not, but it'd work. That would break something. Yeah. That might snap your car. I'd like, be scared in half. about breaking your car. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, just we get it and it's just like bungee cords, just boom. It's like we leave it overnight, crunch. Oh. But okay. Yeah. I think. Who would I want to work for? Like, whose Twitter would I want to work for? Tesla. No, Travis See, I can't do Tesla. Travis just wants to drive it. Because Elon Musk, have you seen Elon Musk, Musk's In Instagram? No, but I don't know if I want to. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Katie. Do I really? Yes. I don't believe There's a, there's, there's, I don't know why this man has it on his Instagram, but he does. Katie. Yes. I feel like I'm going to regret looking at this. That's just a Can you explain this photo? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is on official Elon Musk Twitter. Oh my god! If someone could describe it for the driver. Cookie um, Monster. I really don't want to. It, you honestly just need to look. Have, Nick, have you seen Forever Red? Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck? You guys have seen Forever Red, right? The power so, the like the for power. whoever's listening, go yeah. back to Elon Musk's picture that he posted on November 18th, 2015. Open oh. a new tab. Yeah, obviously open a new tab. But then also you have his drawings that he did in a Tesla, apparently. Have you guys seen uh, Ringo Star? <laughs> it's a artwork? fucking unicorn. Travers, Travers, go to RingoStarArt.com. Oh, I've seen those. You seen Nick? Have you seen Ringo Star's art? No. The MS Paint. It's all done in MS. Paint? <laughs> he has memes. <laughs> memes. <laughs> memes. <laughs> is it? What is he? Elon Musk. Even visionaries can meme, Travers. What is Elon Musk? Even visionaries can meme. meme. Eric, look, there's a pineapple. On their flag. Oh, the flag. Because okay. welcome. Travers, I found out what the pineapple thing's about. What pineapple? Oh, like, pineapples are coming back in. Have you guys noticed that? Like, there's a trend no. with pineapples recently. Uh, like, so, apparently, back in the 1800s, the... pineapples were seen as a sign of hospitality. People would put them on their gates, on their front porches, in their houses. As a sign to say, hey, we are friendly, you can always, you're always welcome. Okay. I doubt that's what it is now, but that's where it dates back to. Katie, that's you know what game we need to play together? What? You never finished watching the series. Spot the pineapple in every episode of Psych. Okay. In every episode, in some way, shape, or form, there is a pineapple. You gotta play Spot the Nipple in every, every episode of Friends. There's a nipple in every episode? Every episode. Katie, cut that to me. 
No, you yes. just said there is. I'm finished playing no, games. It is a 100% fact that every time, anytime you watch Friends, every single episode has at least one nipple poking through a shirt, and almost every time it's Rachel. Rachel was. Jennifer Aniston. Okay. It's Makes almost always her. Bar's future wife. Uh, my future wife. Bar can fight me. Oh, Bar will. Bar will. I know. Bar I know. will fight. I know something about the other day about how he like loves Jennifer Aniston. And that was the start of like a yeah, fucking full on Google yeah. Sheets yeah. list. Is it uh, Greenfield? Every episode no, of the no, 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 that sounds like a documentary right there. Who nipples? Who, who nipped? Who nipped? Nip slip. Who? Not a nip slip. Just a nip. Just a nip poke slip. Is there, is is there any other games you guys like to play with shows? By the way? Uh, with movies. Okay. I thought that was a different name and I was about to scream. With movies, EJ and I would, like, we called it Playing Dead. You, Nick, did you see, uh, Winter Soldier? No. Okay. Really? But you guys have seen Winter Soldier, right? Yes. yes. So you remember the beginning before you get to Bethrock the Leaper? Yes. On the, the ship? Yes. yes. Every time we saw someone take a hit that we know 100% killed a man, <laughs> that they completely skipped right over. Mm-hmm. Like when Captain America kicks a man oh, yeah. in, in the waist, yeah. and he slams uh, his no. spine Wait, against the, end of, against the uh, rail of the ship. Yeah. Like, there was no possible way that man survived. Yeah. But, it was only, but we would only do it for the people who are not known for killing. Like, if uh, Natasha kicked someone the same way. No cut. She, she, she no. Take she would tell to be Oh, okay. Because yeah, of course she killed yeah, she she was was an Did you guys know that, oh, I forget what, what Captain America version it was, but he, like, wakes up and steals a car. Like, a lot of them. He like, like, put, like, stops the car in the middle of the road, drags the guy out of his car, gets in, and drives away. Very good. Yeah, probably. It's like, it's I hilarious. trust Steve. No, I don't. I don't trust Kern Because then I think it was. But I trust Steve. It was in Winter Soldier when Natasha's like, "Where'd you learn how to steal a car?" And he like smiles at her, and everyone's like, "Hey." You don't, you don't know everything. It's, it's because you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Right? On taste Walnut Street. Olive Baron, what the fuck? It's the end of the road. Yeah, yeah. That's terrifying. Olive Baron, loving war. How many people have parked there and fucked? No one. A lot, right? No. It's the first thing you see. Not Wait. very secretive. I feel like I feel like people fuck. But in movies, am I the only one like when they go underwater, you hold your breath? No. No. I don't I do, do that. I do for anything that's not always underwater. Yeah. So like so, finding Nemo. Yeah. What's your guys' favorite Pixar movie? Favorite Pixar. Um. Yeah, I'm not going. I always have trouble remembering uh, which ones Pixar, which Just ones. Run by me right now. I guess. Well, I'm first trying to think of a favorite one. Um. Either. Up or The Incredibles? It's The Incredibles. When Incredibles 2 comes out, I will be the third person in line. And anyone who heard, <laughs> anyone under the age of 15 who says, I'm, I've am waited for this for so long, or like, I can't wait, I will <laughs> knock them out and remove them from line. <laughs> I have waited for 13 years. Okay, Eric. Mine's probably Monsters Inc. I love Monsters Inc. so much. I forget that's Pixar. Yeah. Same. I always think that that's Disney proper. <laughs> Just Pixar? Yeah. Just or I guess. Disney Pixar. Yeah, uh, the only Pixar movie that's not Disney is Mary Poppins. Close enough. The first Toy Story isn't technically Disney. Yeah, Disney Pixar. You know, no. Eric? Nope, that's just Pixar. I'm going to agree with Pixar. And distributed by Disney, but they didn't have any Eric, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say Incredibles. Incredibles. Cool. Yes. A good Fantastic Four movie. I didn't like I didn't like the Incredibles for a long time. <laughs> I didn't like it. I like it now. Is that wrong? <laughs> no, it's not. That's the sad part. I just, I didn't like... Didn't yeah, you like... give Dash fire instead of speed. Yeah. Oh my so, god. It's the only thing. Wow. Well, also... Okay. 
question. Did they know Dash was going to have super speed? No. Oh, thank goodness. It's just very lucky they just naming. Named him Dash anyway? Yeah. That might be his nickname. Remus Lupin. That as well. I should just. Ugh. Anyway, um. Frozone. Well, he picked the name. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying Frozone still. I feel, I feel like we always have to bring up. Put it. Wear my super, super suit. suit. Why do you need to know? I need to. It's for the greater good. good. I am and the greatest good, good you are ever gonna, gonna get. get. Oh man. I <laughs> Hey everybody! Thanks for showing up and watching the podcast. Welcome. Means a lot to us. If you notice right here, there's the suggested videos and the Patreon. Also hit the subscribe button. It really does help. I mean, you give money to the Patreon, it comes to us. We can get a better camera, better gear, a better couch, and. For only a dollar a day, you can feed me. Thanks. Love you.